Doesn't make a speech, but I know just David. <laughs> I'm Chief Bridesmaid, and this wee beautiful cow soul sister. So let's go. <laughs> Life really is a journey, and every step, every wobble, everything that has happened, good or bad, has led you to this moment. And that's just pure magic. <laughs> Amy and I actually met on Tinder. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody said to me earlier on that I was I was uh, punching above my weight when I, I, everybody saw Amy it was Grant up there. This one gets even better because Amy actually asked me out. <laughs> I picked her up and I thought, I'm going to make an effort here, I'm going to try to impress. We were getting out of the car and Amy said to me, listen, I'm really sorry, but I'm rocking double denim today. I've got my denim jeans on and my denim jacket. Don't worry about it. So I got out the back of the car and I pulled out my jacket and I was also rocking the double denim. <laughs> and it, genuinely, we have been matching clothes ever since. <laughs> and it's not intentional at all. <laughs> So, for those who don't know me, I'm Kyle. I'm Sean's younger, funnier, and better looking wee brother. <laughs> now, before we start, I just want to make it clear that I'm not really the biggest fan of public speaking. But I'm also told it's like going to a nude speech. It's only hard for the first couple of minutes. Since I, since I can remember, Sean has always wanted to be involved in sport. So it was no surprise when he wanted to teach skipping. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, become a PE teacher. <laughs> and Sean, I've had the privilege of watching you grow up from a young laddie into a loving, caring and ambitious young man. And the best big brother I could ask for. You are an honour to our family and your friends. We are extremely proud of the way you've turned out and everything you do for them. And I should probably say something about my dad, Sean. <laughs> He's just class. And I approve no end and trust wholeheartedly that he will take care of my best friend. So thank you, Sean. It's no easy. <laughs> 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 I met Amy through my sister, then a few years later we became gym pals, mainly because we had the same day as all. Yeah. Our usual routine would be go to the gym in the morning, followed by a trip to Tesco for the hot chicken nuggets, a pack of each of Cadbury's chocolate fingers, and then up to her bit where we would stuff our faces and watch Harry Potter and then nap. <laughs> As it turned out, that was the start of one of the most important relationships in my life. When Amy and I were young, single hinks, <laughs> we would go out, get steaming. Then about two or three in the morning, we would burst into our wee house, immediately get in our jammies and then head to the kitchen where the party continued. That kitchen has so many memories. <laughs> The time I accidentally ate a dog biscuit, thinking it was chocolate. <laughs> it looked like a Thornton's chocolate, right? <laughs> the amount of times we sat on the worktop, smoking bags at the window, <laughs> and talking about every 
subject, greeting, laughing and every other emotion. And one of our favourite subjects in typical Lassie fashion was, OMG, who's your perfect guy? <laughs> what would you look like? What would you be like? What would your wedding be like? What would your dress be like? And now we're here, years down the line, on your wedding day, and I just can't believe it. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone will agree how beautiful Amy is. And not just today, but I don't tell her often that I love her, but I sincerely do love her. come to the right of marriage and the exchange of vows, so please ask you to stand. I, Sean Gerald McCann. I, Amy Rebecca Kettles. To you, Amy Rebecca Kettles. Sean Gerald McCann. For my lawful wife. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. In this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In to Bethel's part. I, Sean and Amy now married, so let's congratulate. <laughs> On behalf of my beautiful bride and I, and thanks for everyone for coming. Now I can actually talk about Amy. And how absolutely beautiful does she look today? I am the luckiest man on the planet and I could not believe it when I looked up the end of the aisle and she was standing up there. At that point, I was really fighting back. Like. We had our first overnight uh, away to St Andrews um, at the Fairmont. <laughs> that was also the first night that we officially said I love you. Um, and I say officially because Amy let slip a couple of weeks before that, or a week before it, and we were running in from outside and going upstairs. Um, and I, it was very awkward and I kind of pretended I hadn't heard it and we never really mentioned anything about it after that. And then Amy asked me when I knew that I loved her. Um, I loved you for the moment we robbed double dinner. <laughs> Oh!